and welcome back to yet another video yes this one's going to be a little bit interesting if you've been following any of my videos you'll know that i've got hydroponics i've got more hydroponics i've got aquaponics I actually had our first success with aquaponics and i've just harvested all the spinach there was a lot of spinach so this was the system that i used for the spinach and a little bit of lettuce these plants have just been planted and I'm doing it slightly different. So in this video, we're going to go through what I'm actually doing this time. Yes, it's kind of weird. So you may notice that all these plants look a little bit dodgy. I've only just planted them. And instead of putting them in the rock wall and media like that, I've actually kept them in the little bit of soil they've come from. So because the soil was treated in all the bloody hardware places and stuff like that, you don't want soil going and contaminating all your fish. Here's some fish here. So these are freshwater stingrays. All those little bits of leaf and stuff like that is the leftover bits of spinach that I actually fed to some of the bigger fish up there. I'll show you that in a second. But if you're gonna put dirt in your system, you wanna make sure that it's free from all the gunk and stuff. So it actually takes a long time for all those chemicals to break down, if they even do break down. So we've sort of washed a little bit of dirt off the roots, but we've kept a little bit in there. All going well, it shouldn't totally stuff up, but let's hope we don't kill our expensive stingrays. <laughs> don't try this at home until you've seen how this video works out in a couple of weeks time. It'll be like, disaster, $10,000 worth of stingrays, dead. Probably more than that, but we won't get into that. But what we've done is we've planted lettuce and we've got a few different weird types of lettuce, just a random mixed cheap lettuce. What was the other one? It is probably the same. Lettuce, oh God, yeah, just mixed. Okay, they're all the same type of lettuce, just mixed. So they're not the same type of lettuce, but they're mixed and this is not gonna work, but we're gonna try it anyway. We have celery. I know, celery gets huge. Obviously, this is an LED light. I'm gonna raise my LED light as the plants grow. And I think last time I had the issue that the light was too far up. So this time we've got it right down, probably 10 centimeters away from the lettuce. So in the next couple of days, these should all perk up. Only a small amount of dirt, so if I get any nitrite spike in that from the dirt, I think we've got like, I don't even know how many litres we've got. It's like five, six, seven, eight, nine, probably about nine or 10,000 litres of water. So it's gonna dilute any of that. But the whole idea of this is, last time I set up all this aquaponic system, it took about a month for the plants to kick in, if not longer. They just looked sad. They were elongated because the light was too far above them. But as it took time for the roots to go through the rock wall and actually absorb any nutrients, they didn't get that sort of kickstart sort of thing to start with. So my reasoning with leaving the dirt on is they're gonna absorb all the nutrients in the dirt. The water's gonna absorb through the dirt and then they're gonna get their roots into the water, grow their water roots and then just go crazy. Either that or they'll all be dead in about a week or two. So we'll find out, I guess. If there's no update video ever again, <laughs> you'll know why this is just gonna be a disaster. But I reckon it'll work. And if we go over to this system here, and I'll actually go through why I've got them spaced apart and what disasters are potentially gonna happen with that soon as well. These, which are my cucumbers, they are finally starting to flower decently. Probably a male flower, male flower, but we should have some female flowers. Actually, if that's a male flower, I'm pretty sure that's a female flower. If you're not too sure, comment. Well, if you know I'm not too sure, comment in the comments down below. I have to keep checking for caterpillars because they are notorious for wiping out my plants. But so far, so good. Yeah, we do have quite a few flowers, so hopefully they'll get pollinated soon and we'll actually have cucumbers growing in this system. But this system, and why I'm doing that with the dirt with that system, is because this system, I've actually got an aqua earth, which is a stable aquatic dirt, I suppose you could say. That is under all the pots. There's no plant in there, so I can show you how mingy it is in there. There is a lot of nutrients for the roots to absorb. And as the water pumps through the pipe, it actually gets filtered through the actual plant roots as well. So the water coming back out, Oh, look at that, there's some roots. Wow, okay. 
Now this might be a small problem with roots actually blocking the whole pipe thing, but we're just gonna see what happens. My only issue I'm gonna have is if it sort of blocks here and starts leaking, but I think I'll just put a tray there and the water can go back in, sort of like we have with that leak there. It's just going back into the tub, so it shouldn't be a huge problem. I mean, in hindsight, I could probably have these sort of slightly submersed in the water, so we don't even need to pump the water around, but it is what it is. Yeah, we are having fun with aquaponics. So far, so good with this system. So getting back to this system, lettuce obviously grows pretty bushy, and I don't want the roots to clog this tiny little PVC pipe. So they may, but the water goes through this way, so I don't have one there, so I can actually see how many roots start to try and clog that little intersection there. Same with down there. Now, with the celery, it's gonna get huge. It's gonna be probably way too big for the system, but we're just gonna see what happens. Why not? Because that's the fun of it all. Yeah. <laughs> it would be too boring if it was just the same as everything, and oh, will this work? Will the roots completely clog the whole system? Will I be able to harvest it before the roots destroy the whole system? That is the other thing. I reckon I could, potentially. I mean, it's only a tiny little pump. So even if I'm at work and it starts to overflow, we're not gonna lose much water. It'll be like a water change. So everything will be safe. Everything will be fine. That is where we are with this silly, silly idea. Lettuce, fine, we've done that before. They get big, they get bushy, they don't block everything celery i have not done celery so famous last words yeah <laughs> we'll see how that goes but all going well it will be fine and i'm pretty sure it will be fine my filtration is big enough to support any little ammonia and nitrite spike from the decomposing organic matter yeah we shouldn't have a problem with that but that is where we are if you've seen my last video the Kraksky method is going well. Look at that, we have tomatoes doing their tomato goodness. And I did actually have some extra celery which I planted into the hydroponics. So these are hydroponic tomatoes, all Roma tomatoes. There's my celery, yeah. I put a few there. A couple of them started flopping before I planted them, but they should perk up in the next day or two. If you haven't seen this system, this is just a solar power run Beto bucket system and the Beto buckets are just buckets with a little hole in the bottom it goes through PVC pipe with the overflow and goes down there into that tub so when it pumps water the water just comes through that little black pipe and trickles into all these so they've always got water at the bottom the tomatoes have gone absolutely crazy and we're still waiting on our first tomatoes but we do have lots and lots of flowers which are potential tomatoes i've been trimming it down and one small problem with this system is yeah i've got a roof on it to stop water from actually diluting all my hydroponic solution but i should have probably made it a little bit higher but it is what it is i'm not going to bother and i'm not going to trim them down wow that is a pretty strong stem okay yeah so they've all sort of hit the top and bent over but I think that just supports them a lot better. Yeah, if you've grown tomatoes before, you know how flimsy they are. These seem to be pretty strong, which is good. But that is where we are with this system. Extra celery went in there. <laughs> Wall of frogs. Yeah, but that is where we are. Hopefully this system will work, but if it doesn't work, it's just gonna be fun anyway. But we have more lettuce and hopefully celery. That is the dumbest thing ever, isn't it? Look at the dirt. I know, I should pack them down a little bit better. Anyway, if you did enjoy this stupid video, click the thumbs up so I know. Any suggestions, obviously they need more room, but how long do you reckon they're gonna last? And do you reckon I'm gonna be able to harvest them before they completely stuff up the system? Comment down below, because that's gonna be this experiment. Will this work? <laughs> Those are silly. Anyway. Without silliness, what have we got? We might as well have some fun. See you in the next video. <laughs>